What's going on guys? I'm with the Moose and of course Team of the Week is out on Madden 17 Ultimate Team today on Monday. And first up we're going to take a look at the new Team of the Week Khalil Mack. This is the limited time player in the game for 24 hours or in packs for 24 hours. Um, and he's got field general chemistry times two, which activates itself, of course, at least tier one, and also has big header chemistry, which is a very nice chemistry for a linebacker to have. Usually, um, those are kind of reserved for safeties in general, and then a few linebackers have it, but overall, it's mostly safety, so that's pretty big. I would absolutely love this card on my team. I would kill for it on my squad, but he is going to be ex insanely expensive. Probably going to be around a mil. Uh, maybe get down to like eight or seven hundred fifty thousand coins, but he's going to be a really expensive card now. I do have a lot of coins right now due to a thing that I'll be showing you guys in tomorrow's video, but uh, I would love this card and might have to spend up on it if I find him for a decent price. Now he's six foot three, 88 speed, 85 strength, 88 speed by the way, very good for a linebacker. 89 excel, 92 tackle, 85 play rec, 92 block shed, 90 pursuit, and 88 hit power as well. I want to take a look and see what his zone coverage is. His catching is 65, which isn't too bad. He had a pick six yesterday which was pretty cool. Um, also a forced fumble, a fumble recovery. He has 95 power moves, 84 finesse move. Uh, so those are great stats as well. 78 zone coverage, very solid for a linebacker. Nothing too insane, nothing that you're gonna you know, knock your socks off, but a very solid rating. And to go along with all the other stuff, it's just insane. Now you guys can see right here, it said Mac did everything in the 35 to 32 win over the Panthers. He returned a, an interception for a touchdown, had a sack, a forced fumble, a fumble recovery, and six tackles uh, You know, on top of that which is just insane. He had an amazing game, definitely deserved this, and honestly, if he plays like that, the Raiders are going to be a team to be reckoned with. They already are a team to be reckoned with, but they really, really could be um, you know, the best team in the NFL, honestly, if Khalil Mack plays like that every single week. Now, who knows? Maybe he will, maybe he won't, but he is a great player, and I wouldn't put it past him uh, that he'd be able to do it. Now, of course, we got to take a look at the sets as well. We have a 91 overall Michael Thomas, uh, wide receiver for the Saints, and also a 91 overall defensive tackle, Marcel Darius, which I'm very excited about because he has line pusher and pass rusher chemistries. I use both of those, and I've been looking to upgrade DT for a while now, so I definitely want to do this set, or at least pick up the card on the auction house. I'm definitely going to be looking for this Marcel Darius on my team. Before we take a look inside those sets, let's take a look real quick at who got the gold players this week. It's going to be Dontrell Inman. Um, Kiko Alonso, Malcolm Mitchell, and also William Gay. If you get all four of those, you get an elite player, um, which is one of the players that's in these sets. Now, of course, these sets are the exact same, so let's take a look. Inside Michael Thomas, you got uh, Ryan Tannehill, Mike Mitchell, Tyree Kill, and Damon Harrison. Let's take a look real quick, see what these guys are going for. Damon Harrison, also a good option uh, to play DT. Now, one thing I will say about these cards, um, and it's, it's, you know, the, it's true for the past couple weeks as well, they have great chemistries that you guys can use to get the solos done or just to use on your team because they're very solid chemistries. Now, wow, Tyree Kill going for 80K. Actually, I thought it was going to be around 100, but 80K got 93 speed. That is nothing to mess around with. Could be a very good option. It might be an alternative to that team of the week, Brandon Cooks, that came out a while back. Got a Mike Mitchell here, 88 overall. Take a look at him real quick. Big hitter chemistry, always love that. I got that activated tier two on my team. Absolutely love that chemistry. And also a Ryan Tannehill who probably will have some good speed. Um, which actually might be a decent option at quarterback. Now, he's going to be relatively expensive. Uh, 82 speed, actually not as good as I thought. I thought it would be around 84, maybe 85. But 82 speed, you know, a decent quarterback. Um, not great throw accuracy deep, only 83. But overall, solid QB. If his price drops, maybe it's an option. But in general, these cards are going to be relatively expensive because, of course, people want... Um, the team of the players and it's tougher to get players that are in sets so something to be aware of definitely uh, keep that on the lookout now I do want to say there's new solos in the game definitely get these done um, I don't know where they're at though maybe they're at the bottom there we go all right team of the week at the bottom if you guys get, get this one you get the week 12 item which will give you like I always say every single week a uh, collectible each if you get 15 of them I believe you get a team of the year player at the end of the year very much worth it uh, I've done every single week and no reason not to and then also no reason not to do this one as well you get a team of the week reward pack which gives you a uh, team of the week gold player or better and like I've always said the last few weeks as well I've gotten you know uh, I think two elites now out of those packs which are just nuts and they usually sell for at least like 30 to 40 K which is very solid now of course we have team of the week packs in the game uh, I guess it's not in the shop but I don't know what's good with this you get two gold team of the week players or better and I think you also get two other gold players as well I guess when those actually pop in the game you can buy those same with the bundles I don't really know what's going on with these blitz pack bundles but the big blitz pack bundle gives you 25 blitz tickets as the topper nine blitz pack bundle gives you 10 blitz tickets as the topper and of course the blitz pack has been in the game for a while now um, so nothing too crazy about that now me personally there is a team of the week bundle as well there we go 
Um, also not eligible to be purchased right now. If something's going on with the game, I don't know what's up, but uh, it gives you an elite team of the week player as the topper. So nothing too insane this, you know, today. I would highly recommend you stay away from this Blitz Pack bundle unless you want to get this Tom Brady, which I'll show you guys real quick, show you guys the Blitz sets that are in the game as of right now and uh, kind of get your opinion on what I should do as well. Hopefully you guys can uh, comment by the time you guys, uh, by the time these sets are still in the game. Now these ones were supposed to expire at 4 p.m. I'm recording this at 4.14 p.m. So I don't know what's going on with these. Maybe that has to do with the packs and stuff like that. Maybe they're just, you know, behind a little bit. I don't know. But these are likely going to be gone by the time you guys see this video. Now this Tom Brady will be up until tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. He it requires 200 blitz tickets. I think he's going for around 800,000 coins right now. Cool card, but it's an insane amount of blitz tickets and kind of ridiculous. If I had that many blitz tickets, honestly, I probably would do this set because, like I said, he's going for around 800k. But I only have around 100 to 105, I think, right now, just depending on um, the solos. I can't remember exactly how many I had, but I know earlier today I had 100. Now um, I could do this 250 contract pack, but it only gives you, um, you know, it's two blitz tickets for 250 contracts. I don't really need that. I already have 15,000. Don't really need any more. Also, you could do a NFL veteran pack for 30 blitz tickets, but these really don't sell for too much, and I don't really think they're that entertaining to open. Uh, but I could do that if you guys want to see maybe three or four of these opened up. Let me know down in the comments down below, and I can get that to you guys. And then the last one that is revealed as of right now is this 89 overall Tevin Coleman, but it's 75 blitz tickets, which is absolutely nuts. I think he's going for under 300, maybe even under 200 at this point. Like I said with Brady, cool card. But overall, I mean, 75 blitz tickets kind of nuts. Tyron Smith was 55 blitz tickets, and that card goes for like 400,000 coins. So uh, that was clearly the best value to do. But like I said, I have like 100 blitz tickets. Hopefully these last few sets, the last four that I have not revealed yet, are going to be something good because I really don't want to do any of these. Like I said, maybe a veteran pack or two if you guys want to see it. But I might just hold off and wait. Uh, let's see when the veteran pack expires. It expires at 8, so I'll get a good idea after this one opens at 6 and these two open at 7 of what I can do. But who knows with this one at 8. It might be really good. It might be really bad. So uh, hopefully I can get those tickets used up. I know a lot of you guys probably have a lot less than 100 tickets. But even if you have like 30 or 40, I'm not really sure what you should do right now with those tickets. Maybe do a veteran pack like I was saying. An, an, an NFL veteran pack, I really should say. Uh, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think you should do in the comments section down below. Now, we're going to open a few packs here, a few pro packs to try to get this Khalil Mack. Don't open too many, though, and don't really want to open a bundle because I went ham this weekend. But, uh, you know, just getting into it, getting you guys updated on what's going on in Mutt and seeing what we can do with those Blitz tickets and um, and so on. So let's keep it rolling. Pro pack number two, like I mentioned, I got a cool video for you guys coming tomorrow showing you guys how I gained like over a million coins in one day. I guess you, I bet a lot of you guys can guess, but uh, if you can't, just wait until tomorrow and you'll see it in that video. Digging a Mutt Gear towel, which is pretty nice. I am looking at a Mutt Gear uh, set to do possibly that has, I think, big, big Hitter Chemistry, I believe is what it was, and it would allow me to change up my team a little bit um, to get one of those muckier uniforms or whatever, but it's it's like a 40,000 coin uniform. It's kind of nuts. I don't know exactly which one it is, but uh, it's kind of ridiculous how expensive it is. So I'd rather do this set from getting muck gear items, but I'm still like three or four away. So hopefully that one that I just pulled will actually help me get that set done. But we're not pulling much right here so far. I got a Jamil Showers. Always kind of makes me think it's Dak Prescott because it kind of looks like him a little bit. Um, of course, you're wearing the Cowboys uniform and whatnot, but clearly not Dak and clearly... Does not have the skill of Dak at a Michael Floyd right there. Decent pull, but really don't care too much. Honestly, right now, I'm kind of just focused on getting um, the midseason master done for the Josh Norman. Uh, so, honestly, almost every gold card I pulled is just going to be going in Team Hero sets so I can try to knock that out uh, as fast as possible. And also, the new uh, Man of the Month will be coming out very soon. So be aware of that if you're on that grind, if you're trying to get Man of the Month done or if you're trying to do uh, the midseason master or Mutt Master for that matter. Um, be aware that the new um, the new man of the month that's coming out. So if you have Team Hero collectibles that you're, you're saving up, you're trying to get you know Le'Veon, um, you know or Julio Jones, maybe wait and see who the December man of the month is. It could be somebody really good, and you might want to use those Team Hero collectibles on that set right when it comes out uh, instead of an old one. But let's get it. A couple more packs here. Just talking to you guys, giving you guys an idea of what is going on in Ultimate Team today. And um, I mean, like we've said you know a couple times already. Not pulling anything except for, you know, fodder for those Team Hero sets. So we're going to go two more Pro Packs, two more chances at Khalil Mack right here and right now. Got the Saints uh, Superdome right there. First Energy Stadium for the Browns. We get a Theo Riddick and also a uh, Jason Jones, which Jason Jones, if you guys remember from Mutt 25, I believe, he had a silver card that sold for like three or 400,000 coins, something like that. 
kind of insane, <laughs> ridiculous, basically in a Team Hero set type thing. Obviously a little bit different back then, but uh, basically that's what it was all about, and that's just insane to you know think about that. That that card is a um, you know in the past it used to be an amazing pull in Ultimate Team. Final pack here, let's get it. Khalil Mack, where you at? Not here. Got a Dante Moncrief. You know we're gonna go one more. Why not? One more pack. We got a lot of coins right now. Let's go for it. One more pro pack. Final one of the video. Give me that Khalil Mack right here and right now. Still have yet to pull a limited time player this season. We're looking for him right now. They'll get a Nick Bellor. Rex Ryan, where is that Khalil for us? Ah, CJ Anderson to end us out. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like down below. And let me know what you think I should use on those with those Blitz tickets and what you're doing with yours. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.